Everyone is always talking about the newest anime that comes out every season, and we're always looking for the best new show to watch. And sometimes, there are certain anime that slip under the radar, such as Hentai. Hello guys, top 10 short Hentai anime series. <laughs> Number 10. On a lustful night mingling with a priest. At a high school reunion, Mio reunites with a classmate she has not seen in years, Kujo. She had always wanted to know more about the kind-hearted boy in high school, but once she realizes that Kujo has become a monk, she believes that any chance of getting to know him romantically is slim. Setting to drink away her sorrows, she ends up walking home drunk and surprisingly running into Kujo, who helps her get home. However, once inside, Kujo's love for Mio becomes apparent and the two share a night full of passion. As a steamy romance blossoms between these two unlikely lovers. I guess some people started to watch this because the guy looks like One Punch Man, but don't get mistaken, this is pretty much Quack. And that's it. Number 9. I'm the guard's personal pet. Amai Chobatsu is a story of, literally, sweet punishment. Saotomi Hina is accused of embezzling millions from her company, and she is sentenced to a year in a formerly all-male prison. There, she meets the head of security, Myojin Aki. He has a dominating, graceful aura, and a terrible sadistic streak he takes out on Hina whenever he desires. Powerless to resist, Hina is forced to endure humiliating remarks and groping under the guise of health inspections and routine body searches. The story is frustrating, but anyway, it's three minutes per episode, what would you expect? The anticipation does hook you at times. I wasn't watching for a story, so whatever. Number 8. Shudango. The anime centers on Minori, an office worker, and her boss Hadano, who are constantly arguing with each other. One night after a company drinking party, Minori and Hadano are having their usual argument. When Minori realizes that she has missed the last train, they decided to spend the night at a nearby capsule hotel, but an incident forces them to share the same unit. I should not be made conscious. At least she thought so but as she is close enough that even a slight heat can be felt. It is impossible for her to stop her heart from beating fast because of the glimpse of his face. The love of the two who cannot be straightforward to each other begins. First of all, don't even watch the censored version. I kinda like it, but I cannot believe that I'm saying this, but anyone who wants to watch this is probably better off watching the uncensored version. <laughs> <laughs> Number 7. A Predator in a Skirt The shy and conservative college girl Kominami Shizuka went to a college mixer so she could hang out with other people and perhaps get rid of her uneasiness around men. There, Shizuka meets Kirishima Ryo, a tall beautiful woman who is extremely polite and mature. After leaving the mixer together, the two spend the night talking and drinking, but when an inebriated Shizuka ends up at Ryo's apartment, one thing leads to another and she finds herself being seduced by her new friend. And what's more, Ryo is actually a cross-dressing man. Checking out an anime series with a story of a girl who is uncomfortable around men, fans think this makes her a lesbian somehow, but slowly falls in love with a guy who cross-dresses as a woman is indeed interesting. By the way, the female lead is pretty cute. Number 6. 25 year old high school girl. Once most students are done with high school, they leave and never come back. However, at 25 years old, Hannah Natori finds herself in the role of a student once more at her aunt's request. Since Hannah's cousin, Kaho, refuses to go to school, her aunt begs Hannah to take Kaho's place since the two of them are practically identical. But as luck would have it, she is recognized by Okito, an old classmate from her days in high school, who is now a teacher. With her cover blown, Hannah assumes Okito will expose her secret, but when he suddenly kisses her, she soon learns he has other ideas. You want the plot? Forget about the plot, this has none of that. The company Lilix is almost unknown, so don't expect anything great. Animation in itself is great. The opi really moves. Probably 30% of the budget went there, I'm sure. Number 5. My marriage partner is my student. The story is pretty much... Let's say... Unrealistic. In lack for a better word. Teacher Nano Saikawa hasn't given much thought to marriage but her father's friend wants her to have a marriage interview with his son, Saochiro Takamiya. 
After the interview, they spend the day together as they gradually become more comfortable with one another. So Chiro asks for her hand in marriage. Well, things quickly heat up between them and the two wind up in bed together. However, when she removes his glasses, she discovers he is not Soichiro. He is actually one of her problem students, Soji Kuga. Soji's explanation is watertight. When he realized his brother was to be Nano's intended, Soji posed as him in order to be with her. And what's more, he is even confident that his family will approve of their marriage. However, an illicit relationship with a student is the last thing Nano wants. This anime was great. I really enjoyed watching it. The main female was extremely sexy and had a great personality. If I could say one positive, not backhanded thing about this anime, it has a pretty good pace for an anime with a 3 minute runtime. The story isn't really good, but at least it tends to flow pretty well. I mean, really. Even the inevitable forced conflict in every romantic series didn't even slow it down, with, which is just amazing. Number 4. Yubisaki Kara no Honki no Natsujo Hey, is it because I am a womanizer? Soma is a firefighter and the childhood friend of Ryo. Ryo asks Soma to come to help her set up a mixer, but he's a womanizer, so he's not looking for love. Or so she thinks. Ryo's apartment catches on fire one day and Soma lets her stay with him. Under the same roof, while she does ask him to give her some space, she gets close enough with him since he was hurt from saving her. While she would have been happy to keep him as a childhood friend, she starts to feel his burning gaze on her and she can't resist it. The show has fairly decent comedy and sometimes it's flat, but it can also be funny. This was kind of dumb in a good way and it was quite enjoyable. The story is not that great, it moves too fast and has very little depth. The art was good, the characters were what you wish everyday people would look like. In short, if you like easy vanilla fun as a girl, you will like it. Number 3, XL Joshi. If you're looking for the rare XL size, we have them right here. Saki was introduced by a friend to become a monitor for the XL size of a certain product. But she doesn't even have a boyfriend, so it'll be impossible. As she drowned her sorrows in alcohol one night, her boss, Mr. Sudo, took her home and happened to see the products. She told him it wasn't what he thought, but then he revealed a secret about himself. Now she's going to monitor her boss that she fights with like cats and dogs. And on top of that, he wants to master all the different sizes? He just can't be serious. Number 2. Joshi Ochi. A girl fell from the second floor. We are here on this blessed day to celebrate the creation known as Joshi Ochi, given to us from the heavens above to fall on our lap and firmly on our unworthy phallus. It is a story of circumstance, love, betrayal, and acceptance. So, 